ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் இனவர் ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவ குரு பரம்பரா வடக்கு திருவிதி பிள்ளை இஸ் அன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆச்சாரியா ஹி கம்ஸ் ரைட் ஆஃப்டர் நம் பிள்ளை இன் தி ஓரான் வழி ஆச்சாரிய பரம்பரை லெட்டர் சி ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் குளோரிஸ் லிட்டில் பிட் He was born in Animant, Swati Nakshatram. He was born in Sri Rangam. When he was born, he was named Sri Krishna Pada. He is one of the most important Sishyas of Nampillai. He is popularly known as Vadakku Thirivedi Pillai. he underwent proper sanskarams at the right ages he was married and was in grihastha ashrama yet he was not interested in married life he was fully devoted to nambillai his acharya seeing his disinterest in married life his mother comes to nambillai and complains to him nambillai nambillai calls vadaka trivedi pillai and his wife and advises them to engage in family life he instructs them that they should be together to bring out good progeny noble vaishnava children are required so that they can become good devotees and spread the message of bhagavan based on the orders of their acharya nambillai they engage in family life and a year later Vadakathirivedi Pillai's wife gives birth to a beautiful boy child. Vadakathirivedi Pillai names that child in memory of his Acharya as Pillai Loka Acharya. Remember, Loka Acharya is a very popular name of Nambillai. We have already seen this incident in Nambillai's life history. Kandadi Thodapar commits an offense towards Nambillai and in the evening when he goes to his residence, his wife gives him good advice which makes him realize his mistake. Early in the morning, the next day, he steps out of his house to go and ask for forgiveness. from nambillai but he sees that nambillai is waiting at the entrance of his residence as soon as thodapar comes out nambillai falls at the feet of thodapar and asks for forgiveness to have caused anger in his mind thodapar becomes emotionally moved and at once falls at the feet of nambillai and hails him as lokacharya the acharya of the universe he says to nambillai that nambillai's qualities are so great that even for the mistake he did not commit he comes and asks for forgiveness from that time onwards nambillai is popularly known as lokacharya it is in memory of this particular name vadaka trivedi pillai names his son as pillai lokacharya hearing this nambillai becomes joyful but he also says i wanted to name your son as alagiya manavala perumal 
in memory of Sriman Narayana, who is present in Sri Rangam as Sri Ranganatha. Ranganatha's name is Alayamanavadan. So, Nambilai wanted to name the child as Alayamanavadan Thirumal. Sri Ranganatha hears this and he says, Let me bless another child for Vadakka Thirividi Pillai so that he can name that child as Alayamanavadan. A year later, Vadakka Thirividi Pillai's wife gives birth to another son and he is named as Alayamanavadan Thirumal Nayana. In this way, Vadakka Thirividi Pillai gives us two beautiful children who become to be great Acharyas of our Sampradaya. We can also see some similarities between Vadakka Thirividi Pillai and Periyalva. Both were born in Ani month, Swati Nakshatram, Periyalvar, with the blessings of Sriman Narayana, composed Tirupallandu and Periyalvar Tirumudi, Vadakka Tirividi Pillai, with the blessings of Nambillai, composed Eidu Mupatthi Arayarapadi Vyakyanam, commentary for Tiruvayamudi. Periyalvar gave Andhra Nashiyar for this Sampradayam. He fed her Krishnanabhaum fully and raised her to be a great devotee. Similarly, Vadakka Thirividi Pillai blessed us with Pillai Lokacharya and Ariyamanavad Paramal Nayanar and he fed them Bhagavad Vishayam fully. One of the major contributions of Vadakka Thirividi Pillai is his Eidu Vyakhyanam for Thiruvai Mori. Vadakka Thirividi Pillai heard all the principles of our Sampradayam from Nambillai. Nambillai during his days would give Kalakshepams lectures sitting in the eastern side of Periya Perumal at the side where his divine feet are stretched. In the mandapam there, Nambillai would sit and give Kalakshepam. It is said that there would be more people for Nambillai's lectures than Nambirumal's Purapad procession. His lectures were so popular Nambillai explained the meanings of Thiruvayamudi in a very elaborate manner. Every day, Vadakka Thiruvidhi Pillai would sit and listen to the lectures in the daytime, hold all the meanings in his heart. In the evening, he would go to his residence and he would document everything he heard in palm leaves. In this manner, he composed the full commentary of Thiruvai Mudi, which becomes to be known as Eidu Muppati Arayarapadi Vyakyana. He was preserving those palm leaves in his Koli Lalvar, the deity room, where he would perform Thiruvaradhanam. One day, he invited his Acharya Nambillai to his residence and incidentally, he asked his Acharya to perform Thiruvaradhanam for his Perumal. After completing the Thiruvaradhanam, Nambillai notices the palm leaves and he starts reading the commentary which is documented in those palm leaves. Nambillai finds that every word he uttered was carefully documented 
பை வடக்கு திருவீதி பிள்ளை இன் அ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் மேனர் ஹி வாஸ் வெரி இம்ப்ரெஸ்ட் அட் தி சேம் டைம் ஹி வாஸ் ஆல்சோ ஆங்கிரி தட் வடக்கு திருவீதி பிள்ளை டிட் திஸ் வித்வுட் டேக்கிங் இஸ் பர்மிஷன் ஹி கால்ட் வடக்கு திருவீதி பிள்ளை அண்ட் தோல்ட் ஹிம் ஆங்கிரிலி வை டிட் யூ டூ திஸ் வெர் யூ டூயிங் திஸ் அஸ் அ காம்படிஷன் ஃபார் பெரிய வச்சன் பிள்ளை who documented the commentary for Thiruvayamadi as per my orders. Vadakka Thiruvayadhi Pillai responded saying he would not have thought about any such things. He only documented this so that he can refer to that in the future. Nambillai become satisfied yet he did not want to reveal this commentary yet he said there will be an apt time when this commentary will be very popular everywhere he was keeping manavala mamunigal in his mind who would eventually get this commentary and explain the meanings of tiruvaimuri to everyone in wonderful manner using this commentary he takes the palm leaves the manuscripts and gives them to eunni madhava permal one of his dear sishyas and asks him to preserve the manuscripts after nambillai ascending to paramapadam Vadakka Thiruvidhi Pillai becomes the leading Acharya of our Sampradayam and he explains all the principles as he heard from the previous Acharyas to the Sri Vaishnavas who were present at that time. He also explains all the important principles of our Sampradayam to Pillai Loka Acharya and Adhigamanwala Pirmal Nayanar. Pillai Lokacharya in his Sri Vachana Bhushana Divya Shastram which is one of the most cherished works of our Sampradayam highlights a few instructions given by his father and Acharya Vadakka Thirivedi Pillai. After a while Vadakka Thirivedi Pillai ascends to Paramapadam keeping the his acharya nambillai in his mind thus we have enjoyed some glimpses of vadakka trivedi pillai's life and glories alvar emberumana gr tirudi ganeshwaranam gr tirudi ganeshwaranam please download our koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store to listen to or download upanyasams like these our website portal is k o y i l .org koil.org